Hi, it's time for another story from the ISS of BC Big Book of Job Search. Once there was a woman who was updating her resume. She'd had a long career with several jobs before the year 2000. She wondered if she should include her early experience in education and how much of that she should include. Well, this is a really good question. How far back should you go when you're describing your past experience? ISS of BC's career facilitator Kim Abram says you may want to omit some dates that are farther back than about 15 years. With, um, with the dates, what I tend to suggest is that we put dates in for anything within the last 10, maybe 15 years. But when something goes back um, too far, we just don't put them in. And certainly the employer can ask, and they often do, when they are talking with the candidate over the telephone or in person. But at least the candidate is there to address that and at the same time to say what they've done since that time to update their skills, to keep current in the labor market, um, and also at what they know about the local labor market. So I'd rather them have that opportunity to, to say that either face to face or over the phone than to have someone make a judgment based on a date on a piece of paper. So if you're not sure about which dates to include and which dates to omit, then you may want to come to ISS of BC and talk to one of our employment professionals. We have several Lower Mainland locations and you can find us online at issbc.org. So come and see us sometime. Mm -hmm.